What is going on, guys? King Cards here today with my first ever video. Pretty excited. So, for my first ever video, I thought I would go along with my name and do a card trick tutorial. That's exactly what I'm going to do. If you hear any noise in the background, it's just my uh, it's just my parents watching a movie, okay? So, the deck I'm going to be using today is my Bronze Bicycle Steampunk. Really cool cards. I like them a lot. This is the back. If you want to order them off Amazon, they're only $7. So, the trick I'm going to be showing you today is called the lie detector test. So, I want to do a demonstration, then a tutorial. Okay, so, I, want to, I would ask you, pick any card. You, let's just say you pick the Ace of Hearts. Right there, the Ace of Hearts. And so, I'm going to say, put it back in the deck, anywhere you'd like. So, I'll just cut it random, put it back in the deck, and I put this on top. So, I'm going to... Through to the deck for a cut, and I was like, all right, so I'm going to do a lie detector test. I want you, for every card I flip over from where I cut, I want you to say, that's my card every single time, all right? Say, okay. Flip over the top card. Ten spades. Yes, that's my card. I do not believe you. Next card. The Ace of Hearts. Yes, that's my card. Ooh, that's tough. I don't know if I should believe you or not. Um... I'm going to say that that's not your card. And then, lastly, the Six of Diamonds. Yes, that's my card. I don't believe you. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the deck a quick shuffle. A quick cut. Okay. I'm going to say that the top part of the deck, the Queen of Diamonds, was your card. Put it up there. Put it down right there. Okay, so, I said that this, the Ten of Spades, was not your card. I said that this, the Six of Diamonds, was not your card. And I also said that this, the Ten of Hearts, was not your card. But I did say that this, the Ace of Hearts, was your card. It's a really simple trick. It's a lot easier than it looks. So now I'm going to teach you how to do it. You go up to any spectator... Like I did to you, say, pick a card. They obviously will just use the top for a demonstration. Say they pick the three diamonds. Okay? Now, when you when they pick where they want to put it back in the deck, lift up where they want to put it back. So you lift it up. Realize what card you picked up. For right here, it's three, j sorry, jack of diamonds. So remember, their card is under the jack of diamonds. So, when I'm fanning through the cards, looking for my cut, I will find the jack of diamonds, Cut right there on the jack of diamonds. So as you're explaining the lie detector test, you go to the jack of diamonds. See, as you can see, I cut on the jack of diamonds right here, with the three of diamonds right under it. So you flip over the card and say they and say they say you say that you want them to say yes every time. Flip over the card. They say yes. That that's my card to the jack of diamonds. Nope, I don't believe you. Then they say. It says my card to the three of diamonds. Now, you know that this is their card. So what you're going to do is when I went under the table and I said, ooh, that's tough, I just simply moved the card from the bottom right to the top. So now instead of being the three of diamonds, it's the three of spades. Now, if you're at a surface where you can't put your hands under the table or it's transparent, you can easily just look into their eyes and they would usually look back into, into your eyes. Then you can just simply distract them and move the bottom card to the top. So instead of the three of diamonds, it is now the three of spades. You say, you know what, I just don't believe you. Then you do a double lift. How I do a double lift is I pick up a card, and I pick up the next card. I'm only doing this, in, like, forward so I can show you. I usually do it behind the deck. So it is not the three of diamonds, but the four of diamonds. That's convenient. And you say, you know, and they say, no, yes, that's my card to the four of diamonds. No, yes, I do believe, uh, no, I don't believe you, I'm sorry. And you just take it from under the three of diamonds and put it down. All right. Now, when you shuffle the deck, if you you want, you can only do this if you want to. Just maintain that card on top, so it is still the three of diamonds. And what I did for the cut, I did a false cut. My false cut is a triple swing false cut, where you take three swings and you just plop them on top of the rest of the deck. It's a false cut. So it's a really easy trick. I'll teach you how to uh, really easy. I'll teach you how to do that in a different tutorial. Then you just do another double lift at top. You say, all right, I think your card is the five of clubs. So you put the five of, well, supposedly the five of clubs down. And you say, okay, 
I said that this, the Jack of Diamonds, is not your card. I said that this, the Four Diamonds, was not your card. And I and do this card last because they think that this is their card. And I said that this, the Three of Spades, was not was not your card. But I did say that this, the Three of Diamonds, was in fact your card. Really easy trick, really fun to do. And you can do it to your family, your friends. If they ask you to do it again, just do the same thing and tell them to watch it, that card to make sure it doesn't move. And just one more thing. This is a YouTuber starting out. He's my good friend, Jace Adapter. He does a bunch of trading card games such as Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic the Gathering. And he also does some video games. So I'm going to put a link to his channel right about here. And until next time, King of Cards, out.